Jamal, pre-season's Hello. been going a couple of weeks. Are you settling in okay? I am, I am. The weather's nice in Gloucester. Um, training's been going well. Uh, pretty chilled so far. We're just Obviously, it's, it's going to be a long pre-season, so relatively chilled, but no, it's good. And the fact that it is a long pre-season, does that help when you're joining a new club as well? Um, ish, I mean, you, you get more time to, to know the lads and that. Um, but whether it's, it's a long or short pre-season, you've got to get on with it either way. So. You announced yourself as a character pretty early on did on I? social media. Yeah, I think I think you did. No, um, you just interpreted that. Ah, have I? Well, you were you were asked by fans, "Do you enjoy milk?" And your response was to dine a pint of milk. <laughs> um, that, that says it. character to it. me. Yeah. Um, how good are you at downing eight pints of milk, though? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's a 20 minute time limit, um, so that that could be a bit of a challenge. I used to, I did. I went through a phase of trying to put on some weight. Believe it or not. But um, yeah, I used to do eight pints of milk a day as like a go mad diet, like gallon of milk a day. But 20 minutes might be a push. I might give it a go. I'll give it a test run. Keep keep peeled on Twitter. We'll see. In training for that as well, then. Yeah, I mean that that's really the most important thing. You know, you can do what you want on the field, but if you don't win the respect of the lads, then it's not worth anything, is it? So. What are your aims coming here at Gloucester? <laughs> no <Because comment. laughs> but what are your aims here at Gloucester? Because obviously, um, it's a new club. It's a new challenge for you. Um, yeah, my, uh, I guess with how last year went, with um, with being injured for a long, large amount of time, it'd be um, it'd be awesome to come here and stay injury free. One um, and two, start getting some regular re- appearances in and and contributing to to what they've already got here. You know, it's, it's clearly a, a club on the up, similar to kind of what I left. Um, and, you know, that's that's obvious with the with the finish, finishing third last year. So if I can um, add even 1% to, to that success, it'd be, it'd be good. And when you're coming back after a frustrating year with injury, does it actually help to have a fresh challenge and to be in a new environment? Uh, yeah, it does a little bit. Because um, like you said, there was a, like, a bit of frustration and... And uh, like kind of just annoyance with the whole situation with being you know out injured and then not being able to to get back into the team. So yeah, to be able to come here and and you know start anew and you know come in feeling relatively fit, although Bobby don't look like it. Um, no, it, it's good. It's good. And the props who are here already, how do you rate them? Because I mean, there's two played an awful lot of rugby last season, yeah. and you know to see players achieving that sort of durability must be sort of the sort of thing that you'd be loving to do this year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you look at, um, was it Hans and, and Balmain that basically just <laughs> did the whole season on their back. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's incredible to, to kind of see from, from outside. So, yeah, if I could replicate, you know, even half of that, it, I'd, be, I'd be very happy. So, yeah, that they were, they were a true credit last year. Props just sometimes have seasons like that, don't they? Sometimes they have to have seasons like that because everyone else is is injured. Yeah, I mean, we had a similar situation at, at Northampton last year in that um, we'd taken quite a few injuries, and so we had um, old Ben Franks and, and young Aaron Painter kind of took the mantle on the tight head side for you know seventy five percent of that season. So yeah, it's 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 one of those things that you know injuries are part of the game, and if you're if you're fit and and you're you're ready to go, you've got to be ready to kind of take the mantle and and you know carry it I guess obviously you're looking to break into that how much does the fact that you're versatile and you can play both sides of the scrum how much does that help um, yeah I mean I mean it, again it, it's more opportunities um, if there's you know if there's a, a, an injury either side for, per se and I'm and I'm not necessarily in favour then I've probably got it in my favour that I can do both um, but I mean you've got guys that are more than capable of doing that that are you know specialised tight ends or specialised loose ends that, that are here. So yeah, I just got to stay fit and and keep pushing it in like pre season and, and see what happens come uh, in October. Now. And obviously there's some youngsters snapping at your heels as well. I mean there is some serious competition for those prop places if everyone's fit, isn't there? Yeah, 100. Yeah, percent You got like I said, uh, Fraser and Hans with the were the main two last year but then you know behind them you've got um like Val who's been in and out with the uh with England so he's obviously um no small feet um if that even makes sense I don't know um you got Kira Knight um who you know played a few games last year um so yeah it's you got you got competition there's lots of competition 
and with that quality, what do you think Gloucester's aims can be this season? Because obviously they might have surprised a few people outside the club last year and you know, they'll, they'll be a bit more of a known quantity maybe this year. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's, it probably was a surprise for them to finish third, um, although you could, you could kind of see that it, it was building throughout the season and, and um, from previous. Um, so yeah, so maybe some of those games that they won last year where maybe a, one of the teams might have um, not gone into the half part. I don't think any team does that, but maybe just not had the full respect for what Gloss were going to bring up that aren't going to be the same this year. Um, so it's, it's going to be it's going to be harder, but yeah, judging from what I've learned so far from the from the players and the coaches here, it's nothing that we're not ready for.